All right, guys, welcome back to another Patreon request, and this one comes from my good friend, uh, Chris, the Mount Vernon kid. This was one of his three requests. Um, and anyway, so this, is, as always, with, if you would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where you can hit the fourth tier, and not only will we be able to send me a request for Patreon, but you'll also be able to check out the exclusive content over on Patreon as well. Anyway... So let's get started with our uh, with uh, with the video. In this video, uh, Chris asked me to talk about like um, this was uh, for this request. It was a little interesting because it's something I've kind of talked about a few times, but I thought it'd be like it, like maybe revisit it. You know, it never hurts to revisit, and and Chris kind of just gave me um, a reason to revisit it. And that is uh, none other than um, uh, would a remake of Jaws actually work in this day and age? Like that's the big like I think everyone has asked this question at one point or another. Is like could a Jaws remake actually be like profitable in this day and age? That's always been like a major question for a lot of people. Now remakes and have kind of gone through kind of a rechange. It's more like a requel, really. So a full-on reboot of Jaws, I think, is impossible. I'm going to say that right now. I do think a full-on Jaws reboot is next to, if not impossible. It is just completely... Like, I do not see that in any way, shape, or form making anyone happy. Now, having said that, a Jaws requel is always a possibility. In fact, I would not be shocked after how well Halloween has been doing and um, seeing how well the requel, franchise, requel films have been kind of going, especially for horror. Um, a lot, I'm pretty sure Universal would probably look at, if they wanted to do another Jaws movie, you know, would it be possible, because it has been like decades since we've had a Jaws film, and that was Jaws the Revenge, and uh, less, that less, those less that movie said the better. And let's be real, a requel would probably be in the best interest for everyone to do for something like this. Like, I really do think a requel would be in the best um, interest for everyone in these films. I mean, for this franchise. And I think if they wanted to do something with Jaws, then this would be the best course of action. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, I, I'm more than convinced that Steven Spielberg has prevented them from doing a sequel after how bad the other sequels have been but i'm pretty sure universal could maybe be like sit steven spielberg down and go steven look listen baby uh requels that's where it's at like we can dust off the whole thing you were a big help with the uh, you know bringing back jurassic world and bringing back that franchise so maybe we could do a new set like a, at least a new film with uh with jaws like maybe we can do something finally with jaws and make the true sequel you always wanted now, I don't think Spielberg would direct it. I don't think Spielberg would be um, the director of this film in no way, shape, or form. I do think he would be producer, and I do think he would definitely have like a lot of say in this film because it's Steven fucking Spielberg. Of course, he would have a lot of say in his franchise. Like that would be the thing is that he would definitely have just a so a, like he would definitely have his hands in the like his fingers in the pie along with the rest of the executives over on Universal. Now, the big question is who could you get like for hypothetically what who could you get for a requel of Jaws? Like who could you really get for a requel for Jaws? That's always like something you have to look at for this. And I kind of thought the perfect person for this would be Mike Flanagan. Mike Flan if they were ever to do like a Jaws film of any kind, Mike Flanagan was always my pick. Most of you guys would know best as Flanagan for Doctor Sleep, um, of course, The Haunting of Hill House, and uh, Haunting of Bly Manor, and also the up an upcoming f um, series based off of uh, Edgar Allan Poe poems. So he has, and yeah, he worked uh, Haunting of Hill House. He worked with Universal Studios. He has done other things like Midnight Mass and a few, and uh, also the Midnight Club. I think he is a, um, I think he's a great director. I think he's one of the best horror directors of our time. I definitely think he is, um, 
one of, if not one of the best new era of horror directors up there with Jordan Peele, Ty West, um, and and others. So I do think that he. I think he'd be perfect because not only is he good at horror and setting up and building the horror, but he is also good at, at characters. He's also he is so good at with character drama and inter character relations and building on that drama with the horror. Obviously you saw that with Hill House and Doctor Sleep and Bly Manor. He was really good at do it at building these kinds of stories. Um so my pick for a Jaws requel would be Mike Flanagan. Also, side note, Bear McCreary for music, because Bear McCreary would fucking kill it on a, on a new Jaws soundtrack. I honestly think he would absolutely murder it. Now, for casting, it'd be, inter it'd be fascinating, and I did do, like, a full... If you're curious, uh, I do these podcasts on my videos called um, Requalizers. And basically, in Requalizers, me and a guest star over on Patreon talk about, like, ideas for a requel to a film franchise. And we did talk about, like, ideas for a new Jaws film. That was for episode one. I did that with uh, my friend Steven Schinder. Um, and in here, we basically bounced around ideas of what the film could be. And we would have Richard Dreyfuss come back, but in a minor role, like more in the invite. And the character, the actors, the actress we'd rather have, we'd have in here is Lupita Nyong'o is our main character, and um, Mike and uh, uh, Michael Rooker as our uh, as a boat captain, and kind of like th this era's uh, uh, Quint. I wouldn't say he is Quint or related to Quint. I would have it that he is like a, a harbor. He is like the, like he is a fisherman, who at the time he was a young man when Quint uh, uh, fished in the Amity Bay waters. So in here, in this film, it would be like jo like the Jaws killing, like the killings from the 1970s era were kind of seen as like a tourist trap and that's how like a lot of like present day amity has more or less survived is just this is the place where a bunch of people were killed by an angry great white until uh brody killed it blew it the fuck up and it's been like that for over 40 years and there's never been a shark attack in that area there's been shark spottings but there's never been like another shark like shark death until another shark has, has shown up another large uh great white and has um another like this great white has um um has picked this area as his feet as his new feeding ground and this would bring in richard dreyfus who was like people would approach him like um uh mr dr hooper are you going to be uh, joining this situation, he's like, nah, I'm not going back there. And he would send Lupita Nyong'o's character to go in his stead, and she would meet Michael Rooker's character. And if they're, 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 I wouldn't know who to have, but I would have a Brody um, in this film, too. Anyway, so to answer your question, remake? No. Requel? I think it could work given if you get the right people behind it. That's that's the long, uh, long and short of it. But you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this? Uh, do you think a remake or a requel would work? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, uh, I'd like to thank Chris, uh, aka the Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you once again for being uh, for sending me this request, as well as being part of my Patreon. Um, as always, um, if like I said before, if you would like to join uh, Patreon, just hit the link below, head on over to Patreon, and, join, and hit the fourth tier where you can send me your requests for videos to do here on YouTube. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in Multiverse.